All right, we're at NFL Network. Our tour here continues with former NFL quarterback David Carr. Hi, David. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we're doing great. Thanks for having us. You got it, man. Anytime. How's, how's life going out here? It's beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, the weather's really nice. I'm not sure how it is in Minnesota right now, but it feels pretty good. It's getting warmer. Yeah, okay, Snow's good. melting. It's getting warmer. That's good. That's but we good. came out here anyway. Yeah, good. This is an exciting time in the NFL calendar. Free it agency is. has been underway and continues, and the draft is coming up. But it's a lot of fun to talk football this time of year. It really is. I mean, a lot of things are going on, I feel like, in the NFL. Free agency has gotten more exciting over the last couple of years, and teams are really trying to make things happen, like, right away. I think that's just the era that we live in. You know, with social media and people wanting to do things immediately, there's not really any patience for NFL teams or owners or GMs, so it's kind of fun for us. Yep. Well, the Vikings are, uh, are trying to exercise their patience when it comes to improving on offense and defense, but a lot of fans talking about the Vikings offense. So I thought we'd bring you in here and talk yeah. a little Vikings offense. First of all, we have some changes. Gary Kubiak comes in, mm -hmm. Kevin Stefanski promoted to offensive coordinator, and there's going to be some changes up front along the offensive line. But what do you think about our offense? I, th I think it's actually going to be a lot better. Um, I think that the relationship between Kirk and, uh, and Gary uh, and just the, the history of that offense, you think about when Kirk Cousins was playing some really good football in Washington, and Kyle Shanahan, same system. I mean, I was with Gary in Houston and Kyle Shanahan was a wide receiver coach and we were all kind of sitting in the same room talking about ball and that was, man, it seems like two decades ago, yeah. but the, uh, I think Kirk Cousins is going to play a lot better football with, uh, under, under Gary and in that system with Kevin. Um, I think Kevin's a good football coach as well. So offensively, I mean, I, I know that that's kind of been, uh, it's kind of been a touchy subject when you talk about the Vikings is they, they've had a pretty good defense for the last few years and they haven't really gotten the return on that investment. Um, but offensively, I think they have some good pieces, and I think that Kirk's going to be, I think he's going to be really good in the system. Well, tell us a little bit about Coach Kubiak, you know, because you've got some direct experience yeah. with him. And yeah. with, with Kevin Stefanski, you know, he's been with the Vikings for a long time, since well, 2006. Yeah. So it's, it's Brad Childress, and it's Daryl Bevel, and it's mm -hmm. Bill Musgrave, and it's Norv Turner, and it's Pat Shermer. Now it's Gary Kubiak. Yeah. So what's Kevin going to find with Gary Kubiak? Well, I, I think what, what Gary is going to be, first off, is he's going to be a guy that, he knows what to ask of your quarterback. He's not going to ask him to do something that, that he wouldn't be able to do. Uh, and Gary, obviously playing quarterback for a long time in the NFL, um, he understands the position. And that's, that's all you can ask for uh, from, from the quarterback position is a guy that understands what you're going through out there, doesn't ask you to do anything crazy, is, uh, is reasonable, um, but also is going to put you in position to make a ton of plays. And he's going to find completions for you. And, and honestly, when you look around the league, the best coordinators are guys that create offense for their quarterback, and Gary is a guy that can do that. Um, there's probably, I'd probably say roughly half the half the league has a guy that can do that. Mm -hmm. um, the other half still looking for that guy, but Gary's definitely been one of those guys that can create offense. Um, and 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 honestly, they have more talent than he's probably had in a long time. I think about the teams that, that Gary is fortunate to coach, even with us. And, and as he moved on, um, there was some talent there, but. But what they have in, in Minnesota is, is pretty special, you know, so I think that he'll, he'll be able to find ways to get Stefan and Adam and those guys involved. And obviously with the run game, I, that, that's going to be the biggest difference I think yeah. you'll see is the run game is going to really improve. Yeah, and that's been talked about a lot. Even Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer has talked a lot about the running game yeah. and, and how, it, how he wants it to improve. And um, what's, what's going to be the style of running game, do you think, that will be employed by the Vikings? Well, when I watched Dalvin come out of Florida State, he was a one-cut guy. And uh, I think it's perfect for what Gary is going to bring as far as his zone, uh, zone running style. Um, I think that you'll see a lot more under center when, when Gary was in Baltimore and when he was in Houston and everywhere he's been. They've led the league in under center snaps. Uh, so you'll, you'll be, and that's good. It's good for play action. Uh, the Rams utilize a lot of that. Um, and Sean McVay is kind of from that same tree. So uh, I think that I think Dalvin's going to flourish in the system. I think that they'll they'll get an offensive line together, a group of guys that they feel comfortable with, and it might not be fancy names or guys that you you might scratch your head in Minnesota saying, well, "Why are they bringing this guy in?" And it's yeah. it's just to fit that system, and they're going to be they're going to be athletic and be able to move and play a lot, multiple positions. But that offensive line will turn into one of the strengths of the team, uh, just based on the scheme that they run. So uh, I, I'm I'm high on Minnesota. I think it's going to be exciting to watch them. I play offensive football. Well, now you got Vikings fans paying attention now because you're talking yeah. about the offensive line. Yeah, right? exactly. And, and, and I get it. I know. I, know. I, I mean, I, I've been through the struggles of having an offensive line that struggled. Uh, when I was in Houston, it was it was rough. Gary came in uh, my last year there, and he shored up a lot of those issues. Um, they steadily got better and, and improved, and they got to where the sacks were limited, um, and it wasn't with guys that we went out and paid a whole bunch of money to to play tackle or. Um, you can you just gotta find guys that fit the scheme, 
and the scheme kind of takes care of a lot of that. Gary has a, a pretty cool philosophy. Um, I mean, he talked about it all the time about throwing the football down the field. If we're going to throw it down the field, we got to utilize play action. We got to get guys moving. It's too hard to make big plays in the NFL just asking the quarterback to drop back seven steps and asking your tackle to block the best athlete on the field. So I think his philosophy is dead on, um, and you got to utilize that. You got to utilize your, your, your schematic advantage to, to beat some of these explosive defensive ends. Um, that you're going to play against, especially in their division. Yeah, do you see uh, the potential for this offense, you know, with, with the Vikings defense the way it is, one of the best in the league, if not the best in the league, since Coach Zimmer has arrived. Yeah. And so the defense has been winning a lot of games. Do you see this offense as having the potential, the ceiling, to be an offense that can not just complement Mike Zimmer's defense, but an offense that can go out and win games? I really do. I think that um, with, with Coach Zimmer, you can tell that, obviously, being a defensive guy, he wants to run the football, right? And so bringing Gary in does two things, really. I think that it, it, you're going to have a better run game, so you're going to play better defense. The, you'll be you'll be in control of more football games. But he's also very creative on the offensive side of the ball to where you score points, and you'll actually be something that you can look at as a strength. You know, uh, I know two years ago, you know, they, they were they were putting up a lot of points, um, and they were moving football case. Uh, but there's there shouldn't be any reason why you can't do that uh, with Kirk there. Kirk's a great football player, and the scheme's going to be such to where he's going to feel really comfortable. So, I don't know. I, maybe I'm too excited about Minnesota and their chances. We don't uh, think so. But uh, I think they're going to be pretty good. Last one. Um, I, just listening to you talk about the Vikings the way you are, I would imagine that you would think it's a pretty appealing environment for a young quarterback to come in and learn. So we have a young one in Kyle Sloter, but the draft is coming up. Mm -hmm. So would you be opposed to the Vikings looking at a quarterback at some stage in the middle or late rounds or no. undrafted free agents? No, I don't think so. I think that it's always good to have quarterbacks um, in the room, as many as possible. It, it just makes for a better environment. The quarterback room is it's a unique, it's a unique place, unlike any other you know, sport that you would play where, where a bunch of guys get in the room together and they're all trying to plan success for one guy, you know, and, and really if you have the right mix of people, it doesn't turn into an ego thing. It turns into you're going to make us all better in turn. Our team's going to be better. We're all going to succeed. So getting a young quarterback in there to learn from Kirk, I think would be fantastic. I mean, if you don't find one, it's not a big deal. I think Kirk's going to play much better. There was a lot of pressure. We talked about him a lot on our network just because of the fact that Minnesota went so far two years before and then last year, obviously, I, I even said before the season it was going to be tough to duplicate that because they made so many special plays to get the position that they were in. It's going to be really difficult to kind of make that happen again and find that magic. But I think there's going to be a consistency. And, and even, even beyond that, I think they're going to, they're going to be more explosive um, than they have been in the past. And, and a lot of it's going to be because of the run game. And if Dalvin's healthy and he's ready to go, he's going to have a huge year. I think that's going to be a, a reason for a lot of success. Awesome. Great stuff. Thanks for having us out to your place. Oh, yeah, no problem. Anytime.